Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of the third installment to a travel series I've been doing. And the first video was how to pack your makeup light for travel. So how to get down to a really concise pack of makeup, but still having everything that you need for a full look. And then the second video was how to overpack your carry-on. So how to maximize all your space and make sure you can take everything with you without having to pay for checking a bag. And so then the third, which is today's video, is what to pack in your personal items. So everything you need will be in here and maybe some things you don't need, but hopefully you'll find something that you might not have thought of. So I guess first we'll talk about the bag. I am still looking for like the perfect travel bag. I do love this one. This is an oversized coach bag. I got it from college graduation for kind of my work life bag. <laughs> it fits my laptop and everything I need for work in it. But this is usually what I take when I'm traveling as my personal item because it's big enough to hold a bunch of stuff in here, but um, it's also stylish and I can use it as a purse while I'm there. But I'm looking for a good travel bag because I think I want more of a backpack style um, because it can, when you're traveling a lot, start to really hurt your shoulder or your back when you have so much stuff in here on your side. But all right, so first starting in the electronics section, I think that it goes without saying, but the first thing I bring is my phone. I use it for my mobile boarding pass. And then also if I get really bored on the plane, I'll play games or delete emails or clear up old contacts. Um, again, only if I get really bored. Next, I take my headphones and my headphone jack. I keep them in a little case so that they don't get tangled or lost in the bag. So I have, oof, it's falling apart. So I have my headphones and some extra little earbuds. Um, and I still use the headphones with the regular jack. That way, if you wanna watch a video in flight, you can plug them into the chair. Or if I'm working on my laptop, I can plug them into that headphone jack. But then I also have to carry my dongle because thanks to Apple, they upgraded the iPhone. So I bring my jack with me and just keep it in my little headphones case. Also to charge my phone, I always keep my charging cord on me when I'm traveling. Sometimes the planes have USB ports that you can plug right into and keep it charging during the flight. Um, but I also never want to get to a destination and have a dead phone from the flight and not be able to get a hold of whoever's picking me up or calling an Uber or what have you. So I always travel. This charging cord is from Modal. I absolutely love it because it lights up when your phone is charging and if it's dead, the little dots move faster and as it's almost fully charged, they'll start going slower and slower and when it's completely charged, it turns off. I will say as a warning though, that I had this one in my bedroom and it would light up the whole room at night. So it's not a good full-time charger, but I love it for traveling or I keep it in my car to charge my phone too. And then I also like to travel with a travel charger. So you can charge this up before you leave your house. This one is by Mophie um, and it holds a good charge and I can get a couple charges on my phone out of this. So again, if I don't have anywhere with an outlet, you can just plug your regular charging USB into it and charge your phone that way. And then two other things that are optional that I always travel with but you might not need is my laptop, I work on videos or organize photos while I'm on the plane and um, so that I can upload and work on them wherever I am. So I always bring my laptop, again, not essential. And then I also take my camera with me, which I'm filming on so I can't show you, but it's my Canon 80D and I always bring that on the plane with me so that I can record my travels. Okay, so next is kind of the toiletry section of what I take in my personal bag. And this first one is a little extra, but I take a face mask on a flight, especially if I have an early morning one um, where I'm not already wearing makeup, I will put on a face mask. Your skin gets super dehydrated while you're flying and you don't wanna start off vacation with bad skin. So only if I have an early morning flight, I'll throw on a face mask so it sets a nice base for my makeup and to keep my skin hydrated. And while it's important to hydrate your face, you also wanna hydrate the rest of your skin. So I bring a reusable water bottle and obviously it needs to be empty when you go through security, but they always have refillable stations that you can fill up your water bottle or get some from a restaurant or something. But it's really important to keep your skin hydrated as well and I'm always thirsty. So I just bring my own water bottle on the plane. 
And another one that may not be a necessity to you, but I bring my makeup on the flight. I tend to take really early morning flights. So I start with the face mask and then about the last third of the flight, I'll start putting on my makeup for the day and that way it's fresh and I didn't have to sit on it all day with the plane. So that is usually my routine in flight. Keeping on with the hydration theme, I travel with this little mini thing of uh, hand lotion. This is my all time favorite hand lotion. It's from Pray to Province. Pray the Province? Why can't I say that today? Um, and it's the Verbena scent and it is the absolute best and it doesn't leave your hands super greasy, um, but super hydrating. And then I also take chapstick with me so that I can keep my lips hydrated throughout the flight. Now, if I have a longer flight, I also like to take with me toothpaste, toothbrush, and deodorant. That way I can just freshen up either on the last little bit of the flight or when I get to the airport destination, I can put on a little deodorant, brush my teeth, and it just makes you feel so much better. So I do take these on um, longer flights. Also, when you're traveling, it's a good idea to keep either hand sanitizer or sanitizing wipes on hand. You're in such close proximity with people and so many people have been touching the trays and seat belts that it's a good idea to give them all a good wipe down or especially if you're going to eat the snacks in flight with your hands, you know, kind of a germaphobe sometimes, but you know, it's just not worth getting sick and you're more likely on a plane. So I just take like little sanitizing wipes and wipe down the tray area, the seat belt, and then um, I'm good to go. Also, you always want to make sure that you bring your medicine with you if you are checking a bag. If you have your carry-on with you, you can just put the medicine in there, but make sure you bring it in your personal items so that it doesn't get lost in your checked luggage, or if you need to take your dosage while you're on the plane or in the airport, you just have it right on hand. All right, so last is my other section. These are kind of the random things I take on the flight. So the first thing is a spare pair of undies, which I'm obviously not gonna show on camera, but I take a spare pair of underwear and just kind of zip it into the side pocket. That way, again, if luggage gets lost or if you've had a really long flight and you just wanna freshen up before you get to your destination, you can just put on the new pair of underwear and feel so much better. I also bring a pair of fuzzy socks if I'm wearing open-toed shoes. If I'm wearing tennis shoes or boots or something, I don't worry about it, but it can get kind of cold on planes, so if I'm wearing like flip-flops or open-toed shoes, I will bring a pair of fuzzy socks to just get cozy on the plane. Also a necessity for me on the plane and in travel in general are earplugs. So I have this little case that they come in and it opens up and they're in there. But um, I don't deal well with screaming children, <laughs> so if I'm not listening to music, um, I will put in earplugs even if I'm not trying to sleep just to kind of drown out some of the noise and these are extremely noise canceling they have um, they have little rubber tips that go into your ear and it cancels out all noise and I also like them not just for the plane but when I'm sleeping um, somewhere new for my travel sometimes it's hard to go to bed and if I put in the earplugs it kind of drowns out all of the unfamiliar noises in the background and I also could not find them for this video, but I always travel with a, an eye mask. And that way, if I do want to sleep on the plane, I'll throw it on on the plane. But then also when I get to my destination, sometimes there's a lot of windows in the room you're staying in and you have no way of getting it darker. So I bring an eye mask so that I can go to sleep. I also travel with a book. So if I need to unplug from technology for a bit, and usually I like to read it when I'm on my vacations, I'll bring a book with me so that usually comes on the plane as well and right now i just started this one from ruth ware it's called the lion game i read her other two books the woman in cabin 10 and in a dark dark wood and it was the first time i read murder mystery but they were really good so i bought her third book assuming it's going to be as good as the other two i also keep gum on me or mints but the gum will help pop your ears while you're on the plane and then also freshens your breath Okay, and not so random, but still made it into this section, is my wallet. I travel with this tiny one. It's super old from Coach, um, but I don't like to travel with my whole big wallet. This is easy to just throw in from personal items, one of the purses that I bring on the trip, and it just goes back and forth so easily. It keeps a couple credit cards and some money in here, and um, it also has a keychain, so it can attach to... Oh, here's all my cards. <laughs> It can also attach to your purse or keys or whatever. So I just love traveling with this little one. 
and I don't even know if they sell this exact one. I'm sure they still have some, um, but I know you can also get them at like TJ Maxx or Nordstrom Rack. They have ones from like Michael Kors and Kate Spade. They have these little ones that actually have more like individual credit card slots. So those are probably even better, but I love to travel with this one. And I mentioned it in my other video, the how to overpack your carry-on. So it's in there. If you're bringing carry-on, you can do that. But I always bring my jewelry box with me. I couldn't find it for that video, but um, this holds my, there's a hair tie in here, but it holds my rings up top and just my earrings and necklaces. And if I'm traveling with anything sentimental, which usually I have some of my nicer necklaces and stuff when I'm traveling. So I always bring this with me in either my carry-on or personal item as long as it's coming on the plane with me. So if you have sentimental jewelry or rings, make sure they are with you when you're traveling. Also, another obvious one that I travel with when I have international flights is my passport. And I absolutely love this passport cover. It's a rose gold and marble. As you can tell, I love things that are marbled. <laughs> um, but I got this one from Francesca's. It was like $10. So I love traveling with it because it's so cute. Um, but obviously you need it for international flights. And then another important thing that I love to travel with are snacks. Um, the airport snacks can be really, really expensive and a lot of times there aren't healthy options. So you can bring, there's a whole list on TSA, I'll link it below, but you can bring like nuts and cheese and um, anything that's not liquid or gel consistency you can bring on the plane or if it's less than the, I think it's 3.4 ounces, you can bring on something that is a more gel or liquid substance, but you can bring food on the plane. And um, you can also bring mini alcohol shooters that are less than 3.4 ounces. So if you're going for a fun reason, bachelorette party or whatever, you can bring those on the flight. So that's good to keep in mind. All right guys, so sorry that was kind of a long video, but I hope this gave you some good ideas for upcoming travel or items that you wanna to add to your travel checklist for the next time that you're traveling so you don't forget anything you need. I will have the links down below to the other two travel videos that I mentioned, the makeup and the overpacking a carry-on, and I think that's all I have for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.